largest crowd to ever watch a sporting event in the state of Iowa. And for the Hawkeyes and their faithful, this tonight is their field of dreams. Welcome to Saturday Night Football, presented by Southwest Airlines. Here at Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, it's the number 13 Iowa Hawkeyes and the number one Ohio State Buckeyes. So the Buckeyes with the ball on the tee, and we will see Drew Tate of the offense, Aaron Petrie, Sean Green, and Damian Sims, two of the three tailbacks used by Ferentz and the Hawkeyes, are back to return this. And we begin in Iowa City. Out of the end zone, it'll come out on the 20-yard line and uh, lost only seven. That's 74%. In motion, his running back is Albert Young, and they will throw, roll the pocket hard Scott! to the right and out of bounds, and it will be second and ten. But tight end Scott Chandler is considered their finest NFL prospect. Center Mike Elgin moves there from guard tonight because of an injury on this offensive line. Lisa, I'm calling Bristol. You're assigned to a Duke basketball. <laughs> Second down and ten. Here is the handoff, and Young is tripped off. Now, that's success after replacing nine starters. Folks, you just saw one of them, Patterson. He and Pitcock. Now, this might be the best defensive tandem in all of college football. David Patterson, Quinn Pitcock. All starts with that inside push. Third and 11. So the Buckeyes put the Hawkeyes in third and long right at the start of the game. Stepping up in the pocket, fires incomplete. And it's not just Ginn back there. Anthony Gonzalez has gone. And they have the two of them across. Now Ginn will run up and field it on the 38 to the 46-yard line. Same play that Tate ran, rolling to the right. More success. Here's Ginn. Fumble! The Hawkeyes and Ginn battle for it, and Ginn may have yanked it away. Let's let the linesman sort it out here. Yes, he did. You have the Hawkeyes. And Pittman bounces to the left. That's his preferred way to run, is outside left. If you go back and chart, City starting lineups. And the Buckeye passing game, they struggled against Penn State a week ago, but Pittman responded with his third 100-yard game of the season. The O-line, folks, is huge, led by 325-pound sophomore Alex Boone. He was over there on that left side. But he's the key to this he's, Buckeye offense. And he's the key tonight against this Iowa defense. Maurice Wells motions out of the backfield, and here's the quarterback draw with Troy Smith, short of a first down. All right, but they rely on quickness. For example, Mitch King, he's a converted linebacker who once was a high school swimmer. Now, the Hawkeyes will use zone coverage throughout the game, and free safety Marcus Pascal, he's got to help. Second and four in the red zone for the Buckeyes. Pittman back in the game. There he is, bouncing left, trying to step out. Showing a power formation, and Pittman again bouncing out to the left. And because of that sideline shot, Maurice Wells is back in, and he'll motion out as a receiver. Smith is going to try to throw for it, deflect it incomplete. And Got it. Touchdown. The Buckeyes spread the field, and Anthony Gonzalez with the first touchdown of the evening. And that, of course, keeps this huge crowd out of the mix early. Boy, and you can see why Iowa doesn't play a lot of man-to-man -man coverage when you don't play much. Just one-on-one beating go coverage. On, go on. Petri nails the extra point. So the Ohio State Buckeyes looking for their 12th win in a row. And they strike first on the road as a seven-point favorite over Iowa. Clock starting under the new rule when the ball is kicked and it'll come out on the 20-yard line. Now let's see what the Hawks can do here on their second possession. Remember, they have talented tight ends. And Tate, under pressure, sacked. He was sacked five times, second and a bunch. Rush four, and the offensive line is having trouble, folks, handling that defensive tackle. If you want to watch, work of a third and nine, but Tate's got to come up with a play. Forced, Laronidas draped around his ankles, completed to Herb Grigsby. So the lean, wiry Texan. 
Washington in pursuit of 31 yard gain. And the Hawks have crossed midfield for the first time. They battle inside with Young, and now they press the front with five. Tried to jam it, and Young still able to 36 yard line. Behind the fullback, the lead blocker was Tom Bush, and first tight end drafted by the NFL next spring. Bill Brink rates him very high. There is the screen. Greg Spade and the Buckeyes certainly not fooled. Must reach the 26 yard line for a first. Has time, fires incomplete, and it actually struck the defensive back down. Pass interference, number 20 on the defense. Spot foul, automatic first down. Buckeyes showing blitz, creeping up. Came for the outside, swarmed all over, and ball on the ground, incomplete. John O'Neill right in on top of it. Second and ten. Confusion and overpowering in a bit. Draw play against it, and not fooled at all. It's unbelievable on 18. Let's, uh, let's watch this play as he steps up, fires a strike right at the marker. <laughs> I tried Lloyd, I really did. Here's a handoff to the running back. Bolston, very, here's second down and 11. Rush four. Swing to Young, incomplete. And when Drew Tate can make it work as a quarterback. Not that time. Out of bounds for Ohio State. Look at the sign up there, the All-State. Schlicker told me before the game, I aim at the hands. He was in good hands that time. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time, Brent, to see this guy break now. He's going to come out and try it. And well short of the 20. Well covered by the Hawkeyes. It's leading 7-3. Time to go deep. Over through again. Use a fullback as a lead blocker. There is Pittman. I'll tell you what, if you broke out a tape of Ohio State, you're, you're hot, man. <laughs> yeah. Low snap. Troy away from trouble. On the run, incomplete. Ooh. Beautiful punt. Strong to the 31. Slips and down. Knee down, down. He is legendary throughout the state of Iowa. 7-3 now. Play fake by Tate. Fires complete again. And they cross midfield with the freshman Dominique Douglas. And Jamario O'Neill has moved in as one of the safeties. And we'll hear from Lisa on uh, how serious that is. Long and almost intercepted. Miami slips into the red zone up one in the fourth quarter against Houston. In trouble again. Very elusive on the move. And incomplete. Back. Third and ten. Slipping out of the backfield. And uh, the direction. Go on, go on. Fair catches signal for at the 15-yard line by Ken. It taught me so much about the art of competition, Brent. Exactly. And Chris Wells, the freshman. Passing from the shotgun formation and had all time in the world and hit Roy Hall, the senior from Cleveland. Who motioning out to give him four receivers. That's how well the offensive line is playing. And Smith spins out of it, but he is grabbed by Kinney. I think they get the advantage with him running the football. That's where you'll see more of that tonight. Taking the inside handoff to the freshman and dropped. Is to handle this kind of situation. See what he can do on a third down. Incomplete, and they're forced to punt again. Guys. Fair catch inside the 20 yard line at about the 17. That's where the end of the first period. The number one team in the nation scoring first. Hawkeyes come back with a field goal. It's 7 3. Our presentation of Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines will continue after this message and word from our ABC station. You're watching ESPN College Football on ABC. Saturday Night Football, ESPN Football on ABC. First and 10. 
And a play fake by Tate. Buys a little time. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Brandon Mitchell. Looking at option. Pittman. Well defended. The Buckeyes were kind of brushed themselves off and had some confidence until that throw. It's a great handoff this time. And Pittman around the left side. Ten. Push. Tackle the four. Four yards away. It'll be a first and goal. He got him down here. Touchdown. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Antonio Pittman. And you have to think, Kirk, Antonio Pittman motivated, motivated because of maybe the lack of recognition, kind of like the Ohio State defense was motivated. Plays to Antonio Pittman. And Petrie makes it 14-3. So Antonio Pittman, the junior from Akron, with the Buckeyes' second touchdown of the night. Come out on the 20. Play fake again. Goes to Grigsby out of bounds, and it'll be. They double him. Come back with the running play, and Damian Sims. He has speed, and it's a first down for the Hawkeye. Damian Sims, number 28, the crowd. We keep throwing on first down. Couldn't find anybody open. Tate tucks it away. Glenville, he has gone in with the Brandon Mitchell. On first down, they'll come back with the running play and see if Sims can do it again. And the Bucks are ready with David Patterson getting down in his stance. Keeping it on the ground and doing a terrific job is Sims again. He's making that first defender miss. Three carries, 33 yards for Sims. He's been the difference maker in the drive. Now, the slam wide open. And they finally go to their tight end, Scott Chandler. But they thought with the veteran quarterback. We'll see how that unfolds. He's throwing one interception already. Comes back. And here's Sims. Breaks away. Five to the line. And it is Albert Young who had come in to replace Sims. And Albert Young bursts in so we've got competition at the tailback spot and Sims comes in with a 15 yard score these Hawkeyes will not give up for Kirk Ferentz and Schlicker attacks on the extra point back to within four the most impressive drive of the night 4,000 or so Buckeye fans but that's the allotment of tickets you don't see a lot of red no, in other no. words these Hawkeye people they did not take to the streets And again, Smith looks for somebody, can't find anybody open, going to dance and won't gain an inch. Throwing for a loss with Matt Cruel, the sophomore, here Ohio State leads it by four. Draw play. Nothing doing. And Cruel again taking Pittman down. Into a little bit of that north breeze, and it takes a Hawkeye bounce. They'll deal with a short field. The number one team in the nation. Trying to maintain a four-point lead against the Hawkeyes. And will start this drive from midfield. And Damian Sims, who's back in the game at that time. Corners back off. Good! Dropped by the tight end that time. Jeez, One of these days, you're going to give me a Ronnie Harmon question. <laughs> He's here. I know. Third down and ten. Deflected and complete. Yeah, Quint Pitcock, who deflected that ball. Fair catch signal for by again at the 11. Oh, no, I, <laughs> there we go. There, I can handle that. Our first down now. They hand it off. And Chris Wells... Come on, they just keep reloading with talented guys now. 
Here he is again on the draw play, securing the ball. Remember, I think we're important at every state, isn't it? Yep. Second down and seven. Little option look, and uh, Chris Wells, he's getting the rotation. That will be some scene there, just like we have here tonight. Next week, out in Berkeley, there's a swing. Great catch. One-handed by Chris Wells. <laughs> you won't have to worry about it because Antonio is back on the field. Right? Go ahead. Go ahead. straight ahead. Need three yards. Have to reach the 46-yard line. Quarterback run. Bounces. Throws for oh. it. And oh. Ted Ginn on the far side. First down. And uh, that's both of them in bounds, didn't it? And here comes Smith. This was run all the way. And... Uh, Nothing doing. Hey. And uh, Greg, Bob, and I, and Kirk will have one right after the game. I snap, <laughs> pulled down by Troy, and complete to the 28 yard line. The base 4 3 look and bouncing again is Pittman to the left. Run out at the 20 yard line. Who hunts a second and five? Averaging better than six yards a carry. Why not? Cole again on the left side, driving. <laughs> Pittman uh, just shy of the five yard line. And if they can get a wide out slot man on a safety and get the middle, this time they go back outside for the score, but it was four wide again. Touchdown and Roy Hall back from the injury list makes the touchdown grab, and they are one point away from going back up by 11. Of the season. Let's go ahead, settle, settle. And you can see there was a lot of emotion for his return to the uh, active list. That drive started at the 11-yard line. 12 plays, 89 yards. Spread it, go outside, 21-10. Buckeyes lead Iowa, 219 to go in the first half. For a possible Heisman Trophy. Certainly one of the leading candidates right now. The Buckeyes rank number one. Ball coming out on the 20 yard line and followed by the season premier of the nine. Here the Buckeyes hope to do something with Young who has scored their lone touchdown. Troy Smith picks him up. Drew Tate. Was it caught in bounds? It was close. No, waved out of bounds. They first turnovers is what they do a great job of. Needing four yards for the first. Got it. Chandler. Scott Chandler. A former walk-on, a starting corner for the Bucks, Working in their secondary right now. And as Chandler was going down, makes another grab. I will tell you, as you go around the country, you don't find too many corners that are majoring in mechanical engineering. Dropped at coming down to the closing minute in the first half. A rope incomplete. It can uh, be they don't want to mishandle this and they'll take it. It's going to be a short punt. Let's see what kind of a bounce he gets on it. Rolling toward the 20 yard line. 57 seconds. Jim and uh, Kirk France, the two happiest guys in the stadium oh, right wow. now. That's the Trust me. Yeah. Norm Parker just took a sigh of relief. Now, let's join John Saunders, Craig James, Doug Flutie in our New York studio. Take it away, Big John. <laughs> we changed that a little bit this week and went full pass each day, trying to Kick change off. the whole, change the And they'll take a knee, and it will... Uh... Huge series here for the Hawkeye defense to start this second half. So it's Pittman. Oh, went to the right that time. <laughs> he crossed there him up go. and made it about eight to nine yards. Here's again, first down, Buckeyes. To the 32. Twist on the left side. Get on the slant. Nine more yards for the. Went in the bottom in the second half. Get again on that quick strike for another first down. We <laughs> Deflected incomplete. I said, hey, kiddo, second down and ten. Good protective pocket. Dashing for another first down, Anthony Gonzalez. ESPN football. Yeah, I'm sorry. Come on. Yes, sir. 
Here is Pittman. Back to the 38. Call my 800 number if you like them that way back. There's the handoff. <laughs> Chris Wells is the old Woody Hayes formation. And Smith may have uh, juggled it the way he dove in after it. Well, they're going to go. The old power eye formation. Huh? Got it. I don't want to give the one too much credit. That, that was Scott Kinker. Kinker. First down and 10. Oh, beautiful. Wide open in the middle. Gonzalez maintains his oh. balance. Don't give up too much. Oh. Toward the end zone. Touchdown, oh. Ohio State. Are you kidding me? Do they have a couple weapons on that football team? 30 yards. And you thought that Gonzalez was going to give up the first down for a moment. Great effort. Aaron Petri tacks on the extra point. And the Buckeyes open up an 18 point lead. Troy Smith and Ohio State looking to maintain their hold on number one. You're watching ESPN Saturday Night Football on ABC. At the hands of Ohio State, and right now they are suffering again. Coming out on the 20 yard line. Very close. I think it's a 40 yard speed. Yeah. I, you underestimate Gonzalez's speed. There, there are coaches and players on Ohio State. Match race. <laughs> Second down and 10 here for the Hawkeyes. And uh, Albert Young in at tailback. The problem is now they're 18 points behind and they got to try to move it in chunks to get back in this football game. Like that. There's a chunk to the tight end, Scott Chandler. Tom Bush, hardworking fullback, comes in to circle out as a safety valve, but Tate's going to keep it himself and uh, step out short of the first. Second down, four yards to go. And stop this or bring up third down. There's a lot of athleticism, a lot of speed on the field tonight. Just one, though. Pick one for me. Oh, that's hard. Because then I'd have to drop somebody on my. Good luck this evening. Thank season. you very much. Thank Great. You. All right, Lisa, thank you very much. Let me help him out. Scott Chandler is 6 7. <laughs> Trying to urge their defense back into this. Pittman wrestled down, second down and long. Second and nine. Here's Pittman. You know, we talk about Troy Smith at his empty backfield again. Third and seven. Gonzalez again. The quick one for another first down. Pittman, the ball carrier. And Troy is the quarterback prospects. Chris Wells gets the carry and the freshman. Time bomb waiting to explode. Delivered by Washington State. And from behind the freshman, Chris Wells. Long reach for the handoff. How about you? I take Brady Frank. Okay. There's Wait a second. Do I have time to rethink it? <laughs> and he dashes out. For the first and ten. Let me first, thank you. First, the play in the scheme. Here you go. <laughs> first down and ten. Pittman's back on the field. And he's being wrestled down by Clinkenborg. Go on, go on. Here's Ginn. Slips for a first down to the 18 yard line. And around Gonzalez. He beats the Rushman, but the posse up to stop him. At high school, he played the role of Troy Smith in practice this week. The dart, did he hold it long enough for the first and ten? He was marking it down. The back judge is right there, and that would give them a first down. Take all this time to make a decision. Evidence that the pass was incomplete. It will be third down, 11 yards to go. Huh. That play ended the quarter. Fumble or forward pass? I'm still shaking my head about that one. Anyway, our presentation of Saturday Night Football, presented by Southwest Airlines, will continue after this message and a word from our ABC station. You're watching ESPN College Football on ABC. 
Oh, and man-to-man -man coverage again. They're gonna have a hard time covering. Incomplete. We overthrew Gonzalez that time. 36. 36 yarder. Not that time on Soto. We made it, huh? Look good. Well, there's the um, Woody Hayes lookalike from Columbus. See that hat there, folks? The Woody Hayes hat incident. And many of us certainly remember the, the photographs of what happened that day. Uh, can you imagine what Sports Center might have done with that videotape of this day and era? And Damian Sims, after the penalty, returning the kickoff. And uh, let's check. Now, 353 yards for Garrett. The. Uh, Ronnie Bay had a pretty good second half against uh, Ohio State. Good ended on that one. Second down. Wide open and uh, out of bounds is Dominic Douglas. Drew Tate has to have the tempo up. Middle. Got it. Throws a perfect strike. To Safeties dividing the field in half and hit that board right down the middle of the field. Coming back with Sims, stood up at the 29-yard line. Jimmy's played that spot alongside Brandon Mitchell. Second down and five. Chandler dropped one in the first half, and, and he had the pace. Hung his throw. Throw. Almost intercepted by O'Neal. Here's fourth down for the Hawkeyes. Chandler got it for him. First down. Fumble. On the snap. Picks it back up. Fires. Complete. Making up a play. Rolling the pocket hard to the right. And working the sideline. Out of bounds. Two. Wide open. Dropped it. Incomplete. Champ Davis, the fullback, self-destructing. Can't do that against a quality opponent like the Buccaneers. Can't get the handle under heavy pressure there. Strike, touchdown. Beautiful look away that time, and Andy Brodell, the sophomore, makes the catch. 13.08 left. Extra points important now. And the touchdown's behind. <laughs> Adds the extra point. <laughs> Brian Mobile said my spotter made me promise I'd say that at least once. You got it in? You're watching Saturday Night Football. ESPN Football on ABC. You're welcome. This is short and returnable. Here comes Gin. Short of the 20 yard line. Cannot allow the number one team in the nation to eat up a lot of time right here. Pittman is stopped on first down. That'll how you look at the offensive setup. And again, the Hawkeyes equal to the challenge, and it puts Ohio State in third and long. Need 13. Troy Smith given time, fires for it, got Gonzalez, the sure-handed one, sliding out at the 14 yards on third and 13. And again, the Hawks stuff the run, so Trussell again shows keep the clock moving. Keeping it on the ground. So this will be another big third down. Let's quickly check in with John Saunders. If you're Iowa, Iowa scrambling defenders all over. Deflected. Incomplete. And it is fourth down. On. This is short. Fair catch is going to be the signal. Right at the 33-yard line. Decent field position. Tonight long. Two touchdowns up. Drew Tate and the Hawkeyes trying to battle back as we reach the top of the hour. And Albert Young, the running back. The five upset watch. Second down and four. Tate in a hurry up mode. Fumble. Ball is on the ground. Buckeyes claim they've got it. This one will be looked at by replay, but from the naked eye, it appeared as though he had possession and fumbled the ball. 
and that would be a killer for the Hawkeyes. Buckeye ball, 847, working with a short field. Jim Trussell keeping that clock moving here with Antonio Pittman, trying not to go out of bounds, and uh, the Hawkeyes push him out over the second and seven. Clock continues to run. It'll be third down. High snap pulled down with the left hand, and Troy Smith trying to run for it. He's short of the first down. He lives by that. And here is the punt that Kirk uh, thought he was going to do. It'll roll down and be downed at the five-yard line, and the and the Hawkeyes are 95 yards away. So we are back now, first and ten from his own end zone. Drew Tate stepping up, fires for a first and ten. So first and ten. Deflected, intercepted, and Marcus Freeman, the linebacker, has just turned out Iowa's lights here with 625. Antonio Pittman, the veteran, ridden down just shy of the 10-yard line. Chris Wells in as the running back. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stopped. The umpire stepped in. Five-yard penalty. And it'll it'll take matter. And the distance shows that's up true. every oh, week for true. Michigan State. Sure. See, I thought the team that showed up today was going to show up in the second half. Auburn on Thursday night with South Carolina. Florida today with Alabama. Third down and nine. In zone, beautiful oh. touchdown, Buckeyes. Brian Robisky, who cut the rope from him last week against Penn State. And his daddy, assistant coach in the NFL. Pack secondaries. Petri adds the extra point. Troy Smith, everyone's leader in the race for the Heisman Trophy. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the night. You're watching ESPN Saturday Night Football on ABC. In Kinnick Stadium, but not tonight. Fielded at the six by Green. And we go back and take a look at some of these miscues. Now the final four minutes for Drew Tate and the Hawkeyes. Sacked. He would break to. That's a pretty good relationship between a quarterback and wide receiver. Oh, intercepted again. And that is Laurinaitis who has four interceptions on the season. But Joe enjoying what he has seen here tonight with his son who has put himself right in the thick of the battle for the Butkus as far as I can tell. Chris Wells. Not gonna bulk up. Oh, you think those guys don't bulk up in about a no. month and a half? Everything they do is natural, right? <laughs> Excuse oh, me. Of course. There's no unnatural <laughs> supplements with those guys. And he's also providing for the Ohio State defense. First and ten. And the freshman. Give me two teams right now. Oh, Ohio wow. State and the winner of the West Virginia Louisville game. Agree. Careful. Careful. Okay, go ahead. You know, Louisville beats West Virginia. If you're going to beat these fellows, you're going to have to play your best game of the year and make no mistakes. They're that good. Maurice Wells is into a bring it down. Let's give our Chevrolet players the. We could go with Troy Smith. We could go with Antonio Pittman. But how about Anthony Gonzalez? Sure. Give him some props. Five catches, 77 yards, two touchdowns. And Mitch King, defensive lineman undersized that he is, seven tackles, deflected pass. And uh, so Chevrolet will make a $1,000 contribution each year for us. General Scholarship Fund. There you have it. Disappointment at Iowa, Iowa City, but a reminder, we've got more exciting action coming your way next Saturday. So join us at 8 Eastern time on ABC. You'll see Oregon battle Cal or Nebraska take on Iowa State on Saturday night football on ABC. So for Bob Davey, Kirk Herbstreet, and Lisa Salters, I'm Brent Musburger saying so long from Iowa. Once again, our final score, the number one team in the nation, the Ohio State Buckeyes, 38, Iowa, 17. The Buckeyes stay number one. So long, everybody.